Many of you know about the MPT4 engine and its ability to make a ton of power. And I'm gonna tell you about the parts you'll need to make it more reliable. Welcome back to another episode of Mod Stars. I'm your host, Z. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll leave a list of links in the description below on the parts that I mentioned in this video. Some are affiliate links, the rest are not. And speaking of list, here are all the cars that have an M54 engine. So feel free to pause the video here to get a better look at your options. Now, the first of five categories we're going to talk about are gaskets, seals, and guards. Now, starting with the simple valve cover gasket, these can wear over time and leak oil on any vehicle. So simply replacing this should be fine. Lower oil pan gasket is typically a long-term wear item, but like any gasket, it does eventually wear. And again, simply replacing this, as long as it's properly installed, you should be good to go. Now, I really want to talk about oil filter housing gasket and the oil thermostat seal. You can typically buy these together like this, um, but you really want to look into this as soon as possible when the leak starts because prolonging this repair could lead to oil leaking onto the serpentine belt and then it, the belt could slip and get chewed up by the crankshaft pulley. And then there's this domino effect of extensive repairs there. You have to take off the pulley, take out the rest of the belt, take out the crank seals and clear out all the debris of the belt that's pretty much eaten up into the engine. And you also have to make sure there's no internal damage done to the engine as well. So to prevent that, you could replace the oil filter housing gasket, the thermostat seal, and add a crank seal guard like this to keep the belt from going into the engine in case it does slip and get chewed up by the pulley. Now, something I wasn't aware of at first was that N54 engines run on a one-step hotter spark plug from factory. With that being said, changing to a one-step or two-step colder spark plug, like these NGKs, for example, can improve performance of the car regardless of vehicle use. Now, in addition to that, keeping the spark in this conversation, you may want to replace the ignition coils as well, like with these Bosch ignition coils, for example. Now, assuming everything has been installed properly at this point, and if your car is still experiencing some type of hesitation or behaving like a misfire, then you're gonna to wanna to check your fuel injectors and Valtronic or Vanus sensors. Even though most of these engines have been updated with Index 12 injectors, they can still go bad over time. But for those who are on a budget, there's also going to be a link of refurbished index 12 injectors. And for those who have the money to spend on new ones, there'll be a link for those as well. In addition to that, the Vanos or Valtronic sensor can get clogged. And there are people who periodically clean this out with like brake cleaner fluid um, to extend the life of the sensor. Now you could try this if you'd like, and if it doesn't work out for you, then you just have to replace it with a new sensor. If you don't want to try this and just save yourself the time, just, go ahead and replace the new sensor and you should be good to go. Now, I mentioned the oil thermostat earlier, or at least the seal for it. Now, as far as upgrades go, most of the oil thermostat upgrades look something like this. And they go anywhere from like 180 to like over 400 bucks or so, more or less. But this more affordable one from MMR, from my understanding, does pretty much the same thing. And for anybody who has a daily driven or an occasionally track used vehicle, this is something that you can do. And for anybody who has or wants to have a heavily modded N54 engine, you could try this as well. But if you want to feel more comfortable getting the more expensive part, then by all means do so. But that's going to be for another video. Now, chill out for a moment as we talk about more cooling, especially the coolant line flange that is known for breaking on cars, whether it's just maintenance or just drying out over time. Just replace it with an aluminum one like this and it has a tighter seal and you should be good to go. Now, in addition to that, check the radiator, just the physical state of the radiator for any cracks or leaking fluids and always check your fluids. Now, BMW Blue is the pretty much the only antifreeze that most people use. However, any G48 concentrate antifreeze like this Valvoline brand here can be used as well and it's highly recommended for most modern Mini Coopers and BMWs. Now, this next one is not uh, a common failure, but I did want to mention it. It's the high pressure fuel pump. And even though, again, it's not really a common issue, what happens is that the O-ring inside of it fails to seal and you would have to just get a new high pressure fuel pump. So if the pump does go bad, from my knowledge, there is not one made aftermarket that is serviceable. So you just have to replace it with a new pump. And for those who experience the white smoke coming from the exhaust while cruising around, it may not necessarily be the turbos. 
um, try this, a upgraded PCV valve and an oil catch can or two. And I mentioned that because many modern BMWs have two systems, a high pressure and low pressure system. And from my understanding, the upgraded PCV valve and one catch can, especially on the low pressure side, because that's where most of the daily driving is done with, pretty much solves this problem for most people. Now, for anybody who's going to do any wide open throttle driving, AKA racing or speeding, um, then get two catch cans to be on the safe side. You'd rather have it and not need it. But the main component for this, from my understanding, is the PCV valve. So definitely get the upgraded of that. And lastly, we have wastegate rattle. Now, this depends on the condition of the turbochargers as well as driving habits of previous and current owners. You all know who you are. Now, you could either have these turbos replaced or built to factory spec or sort out some type of upgrade. Here's a bonus one for you guys, and that is carbon cleaning or walnut blasting. And this is where there's a lot of carbon buildup in the intake valves and they have to be cleaned. Now, I haven't checked yet, but I'm curious if the upgraded PCV valve and the catch cans will reduce the amount of carbon buildup in the engine or in some way extend the, I guess you could say service life until this procedure has to be done. So instead of being every 80,000 miles, would it be 90,000 or 100,000 under normal driving conditions? And that's it for this video. And I hope this helped you guys quite a bit. Uh, let me know. I could talk more about upgrades and mods, but like I said, I'll leave that for another video. And stay tuned as we'll talk about the more reliable M55 in the next episode. Like, subscribe, and share. And if you don't know, now you know, but do what you want to do.